What's up, Fight fans? I'm Miss Naya Marcello from Iconic Eye TV, and I'm sitting here today with Justin Gaethje. How are you doing? I'm doing good, good, thank you. Good. Now, we talked in March, right before you did World Series of Fighting 2 against Cavacante. Back then, your record was 7 and 0. Now it's 10 and 0. Moving up in the lightweight division the way that you have, mm -hmm. how does that make you go into each bout? Does it make, change your mindset at all? No, I mean, I just, I, you know, have to stay, stay grounded, you know, that's one thing I feel that will, uh, you know, will cause, you know, taking your mind off, you know, putting on, you know, getting more popular, you know, trying to get more fans, you know, that's, that's all important, you know, to me, but I, you know, I really am just still focused on, you know, fighting and, you know, keeping my, uh, keep my undefeated record for that. Right, and I, I bet that you've been on pins and needles with this World Series of Fighting 8 that's coming up in January. Yeah. You've had several different opponents now. Tell us how that has come about. Do it again. Um, you know, it, it hasn't been, you know, it hasn't even seemed like, you know, like my opponent changed one time, but it was quick. You know, they announced it on Monday and then, they, you know, they announced it on Tuesday that he dropped out, announced it Wednesday that, you know, I had a new opponent. So that was, that was, you know, kind of, uh, you know, surprising, but I hadn't really taken the time to even um, start preparing for, you know, that, the right. Jay-Z fight. So, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't too hard for me to take take time, you know, and start, you know, looking at, uh, you know, Luis Gonzalez, who is my opponent now, mm -hmm. and, you know, just start focusing on that that fight instead of uh, the other fight. Do you find this fight with Gonzalez going to be more challenging? What? How do you find it going to be different than Jay-Z? Oh, I think he's, uh, you know, he, uh, he pushes the pace a lot more than Jay-Z does. He's going to try to get it to the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got some good trips, you know, he's a good wrestler. But, uh, you know, I think uh, it's definitely going to be a lot different kind of, I mean, it's going to go a similar, a similar route, mm -hmm. but it's going to be a lot different, you know, as far as, you know, I, I see him, you know, trying to attack me and, you know, be, me being able to get off, you know, some, uh, some counters and also some, along with some attacks. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to stay out of the clinch and if that's where he wants to be, you know, just keep my distance and, you know, pick him apart, start kicking his legs. Yes, and that's what you're good at. That's what I'm getting good at, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Now, going into this bout, what is your mindset going into it? I have to win, you know. That's a, uh, that's a really nice belt, and I want it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not going to let anybody take it from me, you know. Uh, you know, he's also undefeated as well as me, so I'm excited to, you know, take one of us. Uh, he's not even undefeated anymore, you know, and I got to, if I want to stay undefeated, be the only undefeated guy, you know, right. one day in the world in my weight class, then I got to start taking out, you know, undefeated fighters here and there. Well, I had heard that there was talks about you possibly facing Nick Newell, yep. who is also very impressive in the lightweight division. How do you feel facing him, I, if that came about? Yeah, if it comes about, I mean, uh, you know, he, uh, he definitely deserves uh, an opportunity you know, to fight for the belt. He just got a good win. You know, I was out there watching, I was sitting ringside, you know, he had an impressive win, looked good. So, I mean, um, you know, we'll see how this fight goes when me or Lewis win. And then I, I see, I can see uh, one of us fighting Nick next. Well, we're definitely looking forward to that belt hanging around your waist. Me too, me too. Coming January 18th. January 18th on NBC Sports, yep. Yes. Now, kind of a fun question for you. Okay. What is it like in the day and life of Justin Gaethje? Oh, man, um, I try to stay busy, but it's hard. You know, I like to... I work out, you know, I work, I, when, I, when I do come in here and I, I put my time in here, you know, I give, you know, I give everything, I put everything on the mat, you know, I don't walk out with their energy, so, you know, I really don't have the energy to go out and do much. I go home, rest, probably for my next workout most of the time, and, uh, you know, that's about it, you know, I, I really just am focused on fighting right now, I'm not focused on anything else, you know, I'm, after this fight, I'm definitely going to give me some snowboarding in. I like to go play some golf here and there when the weather permits here in Denver, but yes. other than that, I just like to, you know, Stay focused and I just keep my rules in mind. Definitely. So Trevor was just telling us that you are the only guy he's ever trained that does not get nervous before fights. How do you do that? I I don't know how where he got that. I think I'm just the best. I guess the best actor <laughs> uh, that he's ever I don't know, maybe uh, trained. But you know I, I get nervous. You know maybe not in the way that some guys get nervous. You know I. Uh, I'm obviously, I know what can happen. Mm -hmm. I know that we're out there, you know, I'm, I'm going out there to put everything out there. You know, I know that it doesn't happen. It's never happened, I don't even know if it's ever happened, but I know that one of us could possibly die. You know, you never know you never what know. could happen. So, 
you know, I go in there and um, you know, I'm 100% focused on what I need to do and you know, making sure that you know, I'm, my hand is getting raised at the end of the fight. Yes. Now, your performance at WSOF 6, actually you won the rattle in the cage for Boost Mobile. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a Twitter thing. You know, I want to thank everybody that, that voted for me on Twitter. You know, that was awesome. You know, I, I love the support. But it was cool because I got to fly out to Canada this last weekend and watch the World Series of Fighting 7. I got to sit uh, right next to Ray Sefo uh, ringside, so that was cool. And uh, yeah, it was just you know, definitely going to help me get to my next fight. And I'm going to be in a lot better shape because I'm going to eat. You know, I get to eat a lot, a lot healthier this, uh, this fight camp and stuff like that. So it's, it's definitely a big bonus and it helps a lot. Awesome. How's your training camp going so far? Oh, you know, it's been really busy. I, like I said, I went to Canada this last weekend. I just got back from, uh, from California right now. I'm yes. coming straight from the airport. So, uh, you know, it's been busy, but I, you know, I love it. I love, I just love being surrounded by what, you know, what I'm about to do. Everything's reminding me of my, uh, what I got to do January 18th or January yeah, 18th. Mm -hmm. Got me confused now. <laughs> oh, yeah, January 18th. So, you know, I'm just staying focused. You know, I'm having a good time and enjoying every single, every single minute of it. Well, I know we cannot wait to see you in that cage January 18th at World Series of Fighting 8 and yep. see that belt right around your waist. Can't wait. We home in Denver. Yes, sure. definitely. Thank you so much. Yep, thank you.